Hi guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Seasons, with me, Oxfu. And, ooh, that's where that, that's where that small key goes, isn't it? Fuh, that's right. Alright, now this is where we get the item in the dungeon, but... As you can see, there is a... I don't even know what to call them. A spinner, a spinner, a buzzer, a... Again, I don't even know what to call them. I want to call them what those things are in, uh... Donkey... Ah! Uh, no! In Donkey Kong Country, I want to call them the... Not the buzzers, but whatever they're called. And that's why I don't hate, like that room. And we've only got three... Oh, shoot. We've only got three hearts. Like I was saying last time, they're so... Stingy with the hearts in the dungeons. See if we can find one out of these pots. There we go. Okay, I just want to be full up before we go back. Uh, sweaty palms, sweaty palms, sweaty palms. And I'm not... And I'm not holding the hand of a fly woman. What's going on? And I'm talking like I'm from the 80s. What else is going on? What is going on with you guys? That's what I should be asking. But, anyway, what has been going on in this Let's Play is that last time we got the... Ring from Vasu. And we started this temple. <laughs> Not much, actually, because I... W I pretty much dicked around for, ha for ten minutes, didn't I? No. I like this temple a lot, but it's also so infuriating because there's so many times that you just get sent back. Because, especially once we get a certain item, if you don't use it correctly, uh, there's a lot of times you're doing falling. Which just gets infuriating. And I don't want to stick around and take care of all these guys because... Well, it'd probably take less time than just keeping on coming back, wouldn't it? Alright, looks like there's only one left, so... I should be okay. As long as I take him out. Alright, there we go. Now we can do this in peace. Peace is. <laughs> Alright, screw you guys. Fucking... I mean, frickin'... You didn't hear that. Bunnies. I try not to swear as much as I can because I don't know who could be watching. That's right, we didn't even have to worry about him. You know, that's the one thing that I try to do in here. More than anything else, I try not to swear. Because, again, I don't know who's watching, so I don't want to make it unpleasant for anybody, because not everybody likes to swear. Alright, now let's see if we can get past these pea hats without being murdered again. Good. Good! Okay, now we can move on to the next room, and we can see how you deal with these. Oh, you got past those. <laughs> when did I turn, like... Cockney Irish for a second. Oh good, okay, this is not one of the bad falls. Yes, that is the other thing when they that they I believe they added to this. Otherwise it might be from Link's Awakening. As you can see, these are not pitch black. They do have some sort of color to them. When you fall down those, basically what happens is you do not take damage, you Basically, fall into the next level. Okay. Again, these. This is probably one of the hardest times that I have with these guys, just because I'm not sure what to do. Anyway, we got Rock's Feather, probably the most useful item that we're going to get in this game, because, boof, we can jump now. And as you'll see, it's level one. That is the coolest thing about this feather because it means we can upgrade it. I, I... 
you know what? You know what? I don't care. I don't... This deserves it. Anyway, as you can see, it's level one, which means we can upgrade. Fuck yeah. I know I just said about the swearing, but that deserves it. <laughs> because it is by far the most useful item that we will ever get in this game. Bar none. I mean, look at this already. There are so many puzzles just related to jumping in this game. It's ridiculous, but also awesome. It, it's something that... It, I believe you get Rock's Feather in Link's Awakening as well. But it's just so different. Alright. Remember that you give us a very helpful hint. Jumping up and on will send you even higher! This is the prime example right here. Trampolines. I don't remember any other game ever doing this. I mean, correct me if I, I'm wrong, I might not have gotten far enough in Link's Awakening to find that. But anyway, comp compass! Compass! We got it. But again, correct me if I'm wrong. Leave it in the comments, because I want to know. Because I think this is that's the coolest thing about this game, by far. This and Oracle of Ages. That there is so much to do with jumping, where no other Legend of Zelda game has done the, done the same. Shoot. Oh, we need hearts. Like this. <laughs> this is where the puzzles get tricky. Because now not only are you... Because, well... I don't even have to explain why this is where the puzzles get tricky. Because just look at them. If I do... It, one... One false move, one errant twitch, and kablooey! This whole... the whole place has gone up. One errant pinch of sodium chloride. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, that is meet the demo. <laughs> but of course, who wouldn't know? Also just makes things getting around a whole hell of a lot easier. Like, as you can see, I didn't even have to go around the trampoline. I just, um, I just jumped over it. And now there's so many enemies that we can just avoid instead of having to deal with them. Come on. I believe we actually get a boss key from right here. I might be wrong. I might... Ah, I didn't equip a sword. I didn't equip a sword. No, 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 no. Okay, that that scared me for a second. Oh, okay, it's just a small key. I cannot remember where anything is in this game. Because, like I said, this dungeon is extremely non-linear. Because you keep going back to places that you've been, like, two or three times before. But now that we have Rock's Feather, it just... They're completely different, because now we can jump. Oh, come on, move. I, I need to jump down there. Okay. What I like to do with the keys is basically wait for them to stop. Because they will do that, they will stop. Okay. Stop flying for a second, and that's when it's easiest to make sure they're not going to hit you. Okay. I am, I am, I am... I am bundle of nerves right here. This guy is a bundle of nerves because I have been doing so much of this dungeon right now <gasps> with only one heart. <laughs> Since we got Rock's feather, and I'm gonna wait for you to come back because I was I had my eyes closed right then, and I just I ugh, I do not. If I am able to keep going without f screwing this up, that that is absolutely going to be amazing. Okay, okay, come on, come on, come on. Alright, let's get a heart. Please, let's get a heart. Whew, okay. That was like seven minutes of going with one heart. Okay. And not getting hit once, which was absolutely stupendous. I've never been that good at this game. Shoot. Oh, at least we got a... 
I almost said a fire emblem, an ember, whatchamacallit, an ember seed. Alright, now we can get some health back. Goody, goody, goody. We haven't even met the mid-boss yet, and it feels like we've been doing so much in this dungeon already. Alright, alright. Okay, we're health. We're healthful. Or cocksure and healthful. <sighs> oh wait, we're, we don't have one heart, so I'm not, I don't have to worry as much. Thank goodness! Oh yeah, that's the other thing that I keep forgetting about. You can jump in any direction you need, basically. So, instead of just jumping forward, I can jump backward. It's basically Metroid rules of jumping. Whichever, whichever direction you press right before you jump is the direction you're going to jump. Even though it might still seem like you're moving forward. And... How did... Oh, because we went into the secret passage, that's why. I'm like, how did these guys reform? That's no fair, man. I hit the wrong button. Rock's feather is not a sword. I'm not gonna tickle him to death. <laughs> Yeah, what I've decided, especially with, like, last episode and just being sent back to the start so many times, I don't think I'm going to cut anything from this Let's Play, just because there's really no reason to. It takes, like, five seconds to get back to where you've got, you've been if you die in a dungeon. It takes, like, especially later, it's going to take, like, five seconds to get back to where we, we were if we die while we're on the overworld. And even though this crap happens... It doesn't matter. Wait, why am I... Boo. Pooey. Why am I even doing that? I can go a much easier route. Now that I have Rock's Feather, I can just go up here. Run, jump! Run! Run! Ow. Go away. Go away. Don't come in here. Don't come in here. Don't come in here. I'm naked. <laughs> Ow. 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 I don't care, I just want to go past you. I mean, there's not much more to say about this dungeon at this point. What can I talk about? What can I talk about? What can I talk about? I mean, I suppose I could talk more about my Magical Matica panel, but you guys have probably heard so that to death at this point. Get out of the way! That to death at this point, because I've been talking about it for months. But now that it's actually happening, I'm almost terrified because I know what we know what we're talking about. We know pretty much the plan for what we're talking about. Aha! This is this is where we need to go. Basically, as you saw the floor disappearing, we need to just jump over. We do have the one key, so we're 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 all set. I believe the mid boss is actually behind this door. <laughs> 